hello friends so in the programming interview section we have a very interesting question for you today and the question is you are given two integers okay to add we have to add two very large integers or let's say natural numbers so this is our goal so we have to add two very large natural numbers and it means that they cannot the numbers cannot come in the range of integers so that's why you cannot store those numbers they are so huge they are even more than 64 bit let's say or 32 bit integer if you have so you cannot store them in integer let's say i have a number 41 digit number okay so this 41 digit number cannot be stored in a 32 bit integer so what we will do we will store it in a string okay string num1 so is equal to i will write 1 1 1 1 till we have 41 cas of 1 similarly i can write string num2 is equal to 3 3 3 3 3 3 so there are 41 digits again so i have to find string result which is equal to 4 4 4 4 till that and it should be possible for all cases like carry over the numbers are of different length etc okay so this is our aim so how will you proceed so if this question is asked in interview then how will you proceed so what we will try let's see first how to approach this problem so one way is let's say if i have a digits so i have numbers 1 2 3 4 and then 1 one 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 so this is the most simplest case and these are all say they are arrays inside arrays so what is this this is an array and this is also an array of one 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 okay so how you will add so we will say that okay and let's say this is the index 0 1 2 and 3 okay so what will you do so at index 0 i will sum the num 1 0 num 2 0 and it becomes 5 similarly i will add these two num 1 1 plus num 2 1 which is 4 then num 1 2 plus num 2 2 which is 3 and here it's 4 so this is sum and it's again it's an array so which is sum 0 is 5 and sum 3 is 4 and in between but this again there might be a case like 1 2 9 7 3 8 2 okay so now if i add num 0 num 1 0 plus num 2 0 it becomes 9 plus 7 16 so here i have to store only the number 6 and 1 is carried over so 9 plus 1 10 plus 2 12 so i will just write 2 of 12 and 1 carry over 10 plus 1 11 1 carry over here i will write 5 so this is another case so where we have some carry over so what we see that if there is a carry over num so num 0 num 1 0 plus num 2 0 so we will add them but we will take only the units place and how will you do that i will do a modulo 10 so i will get just the units place and 
how will I get the carry? So when we add just two numbers, so we can be sure that the, okay the carry is just one or zero. So if those digits the sum is less than one, then the carry will be zero. And if their sum is greater than or equal to ten, their carry will be one. So this way I can add, and then I find that okay the number sum is greater than the greater than or equal to ten. So there is one carry. But here we see now that we have to take the carry also. So it will be num one i plus num two i plus carry. And if that is greater than or equal to ten, then again carry will be equal to one for the next step. Otherwise zero. So this is another important thing that we should notice. And one more thing that we should notice is that the sum can have of num one plus num two can have one more digit than num one, or we can say max of num one comma. Num two digits, okay. So that's because at last also there might be a carry over, then that will become one. Okay, so now let's see the code. So we will see the code here. So I have written a simple function. So add large numbers. So this is the function name. And now let's analyze this code. So I have two strings, string num one, string num two. Okay. So this can be let's say one, two, three, four, five, and num two can be just seven, eight, and nine. So it means what? Now what I do is int min is equal to the num one dot length. I compare num one dot length. Num one dot length is equal to five. Num two dot length is three. Okay. So now what happens? Min is three and max is five. So I find the length of the number of digits in both the numbers. And now what I do is I make two integer arrays corresponding to the two numerical strings. And what I do? I allocate space equal to the maximum of both. So now both the numbers n one and n two will have max number of digits okay and then what i do now i will store next step is store the string in integer array okay so that's what i am doing and one thing we should note here is that when i am printing a string like this it means this is s of Zero. This is s of one, and this is s of four. So it means that s of zero, which I want to make as num. So this is s zero and s four. So s of num of zero is basically I want to make it equal to s of four. So it's basically other way around. The s zero contains the MSB or maximum LSB is the least digit and MSB is the highest digit. So I will convert it using this. That now num zero will be equal to the highest leftmost digit. So that's what I am doing here. N one i is equal to num one dot caret num one dot length minus one minus i. So it means let's see that okay if this Is the number one two three four five? So it means the length is five. So num n one zero will be equal to num one carrot five minus one minus zero, which is so n one zero is num one five minus one minus zero, which is four. N one one is equal to num. One five minus one minus one, which is three, and n 
one one two is equal to num one two. So this way I just reverse the digits for my easy calculation. And then what happens? Similarly, I do it for. So I do it also for num two. So where I store n two i in the zeroth in the zeroth index, I store the LSB, and in the higher in indexes, I store the store the MSB. Okay. So till here it's now clear. So I store those numbers. and now i apply my logic which is here so what i do so here is the logic now i have a carry initially equal to 0 and let's say i have numbers 1 9 3 7 8 and other number is just say 9 8 5 and these will be by default zero so now i have to add an initially carry is equal to zero so sum i have now i have to populate the array sum so sum zero will be equal to n1 this is let's say this is n1 and this is n2 so n1 zero is 8 plus n2 zero is 5 plus carry which is zero 8 plus 5 plus zero is 13 13 percentage then is Three. So sum. So here is the sum. So sum zero will be now three. And if n one k plus n two k plus carry, so it is greater than equal to ten. It is thirteen. So carry will now become one. So it will go here. Now it will be sum one will be n one one plus n two one, which is seven plus eight fifteen plus one sixteen. And again, percentage ten, so it will become six. Carry will be one, and now sum two will be equal to nine plus three plus one, so thirteen. So there will be three, and carry will be again one. So this will be now ten because of the carry, and zero will come here, and one will again go here. So it will print a two here. Okay, so this will be the sum. and here that's what we do and now the carry will be zero finally so sum max is equal to carry so sum max was again it will be 0 20 363 so i always have a bigger space for my one digit more for my sum because the sums there can be a carry over finally and it can amount to a one so now i just print it this array in reverse order so that i get the integer or the number in human readable format from msb to lsb and that is what we do and now just i will show you how this code runs okay so we have this code and i run it so let's run it for one first very simple example 1 1 1 1 And two, 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 two. So I run this for a very simple example, and we see the output. So I am running this code. So we get now you can see. So there are four plus four, eight, eleven numbers are there. So four. Then next four and four. So there are also eleven digits are there. So this is the sum. Let's make it a little bit difficult now. So we will add nine 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 nine. Let's see what is or nine nine one four. Okay. So let's add these two numbers and even one bigger. Like okay. i will take this as the example which is much tougher and can cover all the cases so let's see now and we see the result is here okay so let's see so let's first manually do the calculation and see so this is 
9-9-1-4-6 and other number is just 9-9-9 nine, nine, nine and 9 okay so 9 plus 6 is 15 1 10 14 so 10 11 1 10 19 1 10 so it is 1 0 9 1 4 5 which is the answer is correct and here you see again the number of digits is one more than the maximum of the number of digits in both of them so this is what how the carry helps and this is the function so i hope you understand this code and you like this one so here one more thing is that i do a subtraction of 48 so that i can get it into a number from a ascii value so that's why i subtract 48 so i hope you like this video thanks a lot